All right, so this is again a conceptual discussion on electric field due to a dipole. Uh, but this time we are calculating the electric field at the equatorial plane, which is the perpendicular axis to the line joining the two charges. So you can see the red dot, you know, is the equatorial plane. And I have selected a point. Now, this is again not a derivation. This is a straightforward case of vector algebra. There is no derivation in this, right? So don't use heavy words like derivation. If you know the electric field due to a charge at some distance, you, know, you can easily do that. So I have also done, you know, calculated the electric field due to plus charge and electric field due to minus charge. And then I've done some conceptual analytical discussion. On the right hand side, you can see the sign components of the two electric fields, EQ plus and EQ minus are canceling each other and the cost components are getting added. So whatever resultant came, I just multiplied it with two into cos theta. That's the answer of you know, electric field. When it comes to direction, I just drew the electric field from positive to negative. And I know the direction of electric dipole movement is from negative to positive. So even the direction of resultant was easily found out using you know some knowledge of electric lines of forces thank you very much